to greet you all, Bazalwane, um, this site in the wonderful name of Lord Jesus Christ, and Amen. and take this time to greet you this site in the wonderful name of Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, Sister Bilozo Mele Ubiza Bantu next week. Uh, we want to love and take this time to greet those who are watching us online, and then we say, Welcome to God, wife a hotspot, amen. And greet Baba Zalwane uh, on my right hand side, amen. And greet the entire church of God, amen. Amen, amen church. Amen. amen, church. We're speaking acceleration today. Mercy rewrote episode. Um, we're in episode four, uh, acceleration. Somebody say acceleration. Acceleration, acceleration, acceleration. Um, the, the athletes are running. Then towards the last lap, um, this other athlete who was almost in the front uh, falls, falls and trip. But in the falling, the commentators are saying, ah, she was leading excellently and possibly she was in the right position to can win the race. You know, uh, people might write you off, but when God is going to accelerate you, when God is going to repay you, when God is going to increase you, you know, bazo mangala na laba aba commentator yo, aba commentator yo, any voices that um, are surrounding you, those who are in opposition to you. But um, there is a greatest commentator who is God. When he speaks, he says you are not a failure when God speaks says you have fallen pick up yourself and run come on church he says pick up yourself and run she starts to run from being number last and, and run and pace herself and, and pace herself and pace herself just, just where it looks like it is impossible towards the cross line God accelerates her and she, and she wins what I like is that the the the, the commentators then say, how possible was that? In a similar way, when God is on our side, when we walk with God, when we stay in God, um, he shall be able to bring us into all areas that we so desire. Um, God sees treasures in every one of us. God does not see something that is not of value. God sees an increase in you. God sees that you shall be able to be um, everything that he has spoken because um, good attachment of his credibility. Matthew uh, 16 uh, verses 19 says, um, um, I will give you the keys of the kingdom and heaven uh, and whatever you 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 bind some version says bind some version says declare some version says whatever you speak that is why la ekaya as we say welcome to God we have a hot spot you know isn't zako why are you so quiet not declaring that healing why are you so quiet not declaring everything that you know that you are in possession of it in the spiritual realm, there is never a perfect moment than the time that you are standing and thinking about that condition and be able to speak and declare and, and pray on it. You know, it says, I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heavens. Whatever whatever you 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 bind you declare you speak lazy kia lezo nkulunkulu is saying i am giving up unto you they are unshined upon your word they shall be able to be brought into manifestation into happening from everything that will what will arise or come from your word therefore if you want to remain modest and not say anything this key unfortunately will be unactive this key will be active at the moment that you say I serve a God of miracles. I serve a God of wonders. I serve a God that who shall be able with Anki Pegulisimo that I find myself in. I serve a God who shall be able to actually increase me. I serve a God who shall be able to set me apart. I serve a God who will be able to make me cruise even in environment where it is not 
is not possible for anyone to actually drive there. I serve a God who knows that he shall be able to move me from beneath, from, from underneath and put me into the surface so that I may be able to be known. The God that will make me to rise up and shine so that I can be able to be seen. I serve a God who says in everything that comes out of your mouth for I have declared to say everything that I've spoken from the beginning as the Lord shall come into pass shall come into pass therefore I am God who is unshakable who is unmoved therefore he says I have given you the keys the keys these servants are with what you speak as, as, as we always say, Isaiah, um, Isaiah 65, um, yeah, verses 24, says that even before you speak, before you pray, God will do what will answer, will have been able to pave a way and give you the things that you are trusting in, in him for. Whilst in, in Exodus chapter 12, verses 4, it says, I'm going I'm, I'm to put words into your mouth that everything, even if it does not make sense to you, also when the ukulume is in that I know that you are entitled unto them. Miss Call. God says, because of your fear, because of your doubt, because of your worry, Gizogiega when Unga Kulumi lays in Donfunutus Kulumi, mean and Gizofaga Amazu, Omluminuaco, La Mazu and Wafagayo, I lays in Domina and Funa Uzisho. Are of the things that I want you to speak, are of the things that I want you to declare, are of the things that I want you to can be able to possess. Nasi is kia. Les kia si zangani, it works with my mouth. Therefore, man tuli leng tuleleni. No silence is golden in the house of the Lord. In fact, I say, there's no silence is golden in the house of the Lord. You have to speak, you have to shout, you have to declare everything that God says and you must speak. It says, therefore, the kingdom of heaven and whatever, oh Lord, it's okay. Whatever, whatever has no ending, one. Maybe let me describe it in two ways. Whatever has no ending. Two, whatever has no, is, is a generalistic description. My whatever is different from your whatever. I don't know what is your whatever. Because if God has said, um, your peace, basis of salary, peace, if God has said your cows, if God has said your, your house, into the property, if God lays that uh, my whatever I shall be able to, can be able to establish in Rodeport uh, um, an institution or I shall be able to establish a company, I declare myself as an employer, I shall be able to set a, a, a process where zonkeys into that are coming forth from me, even m 7 in, they shall be able to increase. What is your whatever? God gave you what? The keys of your whatever. Your keys of your whatever. Release them now. Whatever you bind, whatever you contain, the word bind is whatever you contain. Whatever um, um, you, you, you are containing into yourself. And the other Hebrew descriptive says whatever you are releasing, you can contain some other things and you are able to also release the things that will be able to be of benefit to you. Declares uh, to improper. Okay, and then it says on, on earth must be what is already bound in heaven. Meaning, let's into, says you we in heaven. Zi kulu we. Zi kulu we. And whatever you loosen, Remember I said, what you bound, you contain. 
certain things that I know that I am in a process that the enemy shall not contain me. Therefore, I shall contain the tricks of the enemy. I shall contain the words of the enemy. I shall not speak failure. I shall not speak ugosulega. I shall not speak fear. But I shall be able to loosen fear and declare that I am no longer bound, but I am free. Whatever I shall be able to bring into loosening, declare lawfully, it says, on earth must be what is already loosened in heaven. It means the Lord is saying, When God is giving you keys, what are these keys? The keys are nothing else but is an, an enabler, an enabler to break barriers. Let me help you. I'm going to give you apostle, your pastor, your mother, or your father, your bishop, your apostle, doctor, the keys. I'm going to give you the keys. And therefore, these keys are for your enabling to break barriers. That as I stand here and I say, I pray and release healing upon my mother. As I stand here and I say, I release money for my, for my children's studies. I stand here that... I release the house that I so want, God, that the bank will be able to grant me the bond and everything that I desire. You must be able to start to speak it, because it is worth it for your own, for your own benefit. Breaking barriers, the key is there for you to break barriers. The second thing about the key in, 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 the, in the biblical context, when somebody gives you the key, somebody says, you are in charge for you to walk in authority or for you to be in control. The jailers, we know, they were in control of what? Of a key. The key is also a, an enabling that those they don't have an access to the other end. For you have the key. The one who has the key has the enabler to break the barrier and free the others. And lastly, the key symbolizes authority. You have authority. Yes, unahamba. I think one of the old movies, um, I think, Onda Bam Song, um, Umlung Uya Buya, Utinong Kotwa something, Nkalung Vulele. But before Aham Umlung said, Unga Vule, Unga Vulele, na anybody uh, until Mbuya Monday. No, because something I need you to open for me. Time long, Uzalagabi. <laughs> you know the movie at that time long, Uzalagabi. Ah, Uzalagabi. For noti, mufulibesu ya mkosha. This person is a security, but because he knows his position and say, I'm a young fool, when you have given me the authority that Nina Vuluguze Gubom Sobulugo, Makono Kosi, Makono Funayo, Lina Guze Gubom Sobulugo, Ogomanja, I am in charge. Devil, I am saying, whatever you want to be in position of in my life, because I have the keys, Imaranane, for me to can be able to walk in the path of the authority. For me to can be able to be in charge. Right now you're saying Imaranane. Une zimo that God is saying Zimisaganane. Tell them maybe in a language you say chill. It's time to say to certain situation, chill. Imaranane. Whether you are chilling there, just chill. I just want to go on a holiday. No one shall break into my house. Chill. Chill. Chill, make these things chill, for God is in authority, for God is in control. You shall be able, when, when, when the heavenly meaning of having keys is the delegated responsibility. For Christ says, I have come to do what? To be in possession of the authority, to be in control. These authority are given unto you, O oh Lord. 
Revelation 3, 7 says, write this letter to the angels of the church of Philadelphia. This message from one who is holy and true, the one who has the key of David. The key of David, oh, if you have time, so the key of David is nothing else but his access to the grace of Christ. That's the key of David. The, the, the key of David, what he opens, no one can close. What he closes, no one can open. David as a king, even if he was powerful, here is just an illustration to say, Gifuna Lamanda Asenzalweni Yaga David. For Christ, David was a king, but this authority he didn't possess. The writer knew here to then say, in the lineage of David, the king is born. Everything that he, he closes is no one will be able to open it. Everything he opens, no one will close it. For he has given me greater keys. Job, tw Job 12 verses 14. What he tears down cannot be rebuilt. The man he imprisoned cannot be released because the keys are in you. Keys are, for, are, are of great wisdom. Keys are of God's protection for yourself. Keys must be released for your good health. Keys must be released for your financial increase. Release as we speak about expansion. Expansion, release the keys of expansion, the keys to rise up, the keys for supernatural speed. Who, Lord, the keys to can be able to access everything that has been closed. The person who has a key has an advantage towards accessing the place through the locked doors. You have the advantage, you are in control. First Timothy 4, 12 says, And don't be limited by those who are older than you. Simply be an example. They need to bring, they, they need to see by being faithful, one, uh, and true in all that you do. Who oh, I like the next one. Speak. Speak the truth. And live a life of purity, authentic, loves as you remain strong in faith. The message version says, B says, teach believers with your life by, by words. Then it says, by denominator, the conduct, by words. Whilst the AMPC version says, um, the, the last part says, uh, for the believers in speech, your speech, your words, what you speak will be able to bring you greater increase. Agree with God's plan because Unkulunkulu has already given you the keys. What you need to do after you have agreed with the plan of God, agree with yourself. We are stagnant because, yes, the Lord has released you, but we are only stagnant because there are certain things which are bounding us. May God free us from everything that is bounding you. May you be in an area of expectant. When you, got, when you are expectant, like the lady who won a race, she was expecting a prize. In fact, um, the other view, the other person who fell won the gold medal. The expectation is a gold medal. Therefore, but I shall be able to move and accelerate when we speak on God's mercy and acceleration. It does not matter how behind you are. May the Lord be able to accelerate you. Who let us close? Because I was told to close those chambers and it's fine. C -c 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 Conclusion, Zechariah 2.4, come next week. And he said to the second angel, run, run. Then he says, speak. The CEV version says, and he said, hurry and tell. Come on church, run, run, run. I was to we are run and do a catwalk. But 
But if you have to run, then a Sakaya. If your jacket is the limitation, take it out. If your shoes are a limitation, take them out. But you, the way it says run, is Kia Zako says two things. You need to run for you to be accelerated. But Lord says, for me, for God to accelerate me, accelerate lele. For God to accelerate you, <laughs> you need to stand up and brush up yourself. And you shall speak and say, I am number last by 10. Number nine, one down. Number eight, two down. Number seven, two down. You count them down until you are able to reach the, f- the finish line. When you run, it is an opportunity for God to accelerate you. It's for an opportunity for God to push you. And also in the same time, because you are speaking these things, the other version says, hurry and tell. Hurry, share, shamdana, sekaya. Hurry, as the circle is cut, that I need to waste things. Elijah says in 1 Kings 17 verses 1, At my word, King Ahab, there shall be what? There shall be no rain. In the same way, in, um, in 1 Kings 18 verses 1, he goes forth and says, At my word, at my word, there shall be what? There shall be rain. He goes on to then tell his servant and say, Bro, let's move in faster. Go tell King Ahab that he must eat. Not only must he eat, um, but he must run faster because there shall be what? There shall be rain. You'll read it, First King 18, 41 to 46. Elijah said to Ahab, to Ahab, up now you feet, eat and drink, celebrate. Eat and drink, celebrate whilst you can. Celebrate whilst you can. Hey, Lord, because like I said, he says celebrate. Rain, rain is on the way. I hear it coming. Logo ogu kulunyuayo. Guya ziwa. Uti u Elijah, I hear rain coming. Ubani ozwa imvula izwa. Iza. You see the cloud first. Uti, I hear what? I hear the rain coming. I hear the rain coming. Then he goes and climbs the mountain. He kneels down and pray. Some of the keys is in the Bambegile. He kneels down and pray. We are kuka, not ukuka, but ufaga ikanda like into his knees. You need to stand and pray and trust God. Goodness into everything when your ways that thing that thing is long is cool. That a thing are in your prayers. Yegela ukudinga ukuthandazelwa njalo. Bazalone anengithandazele ngaleso sikhathi ubhizi ngimama popcorn use movine anengithandazele bazalone I am going through stuff. Nyakoisha. Thandaza mdana sekhaya zidinga wena some of these things. Who as it dinga wena but eh uh, he then says to his servant, go look, bro, go look, bro, rain, I, 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 can, I can hear rain is coming. Then he says, go and see. And the servant says, I see nothing. Then he says, maybe go seven times, just run around seven times, go in seven times. Then he says, I see like a cloud, you know. Because when he said, Go tell them that the rain is coming. He should have acted and preparing themselves. See, as delay at when God says, I have released your increase, when Utipatunko say, Angai born. You are delaying yourself. Stop delaying yourself. Act to what God has spoken. If God says, There is. Um, there is, there is your promotion. Start acting like that manager in that company. Where is Nozipo? Open us. Where are you, nos? Not, no, not this one. Oh, yeah, now, okay. Name of a sense. Okay. Um, she, she's made to act into a proposition. Then she started to dress like a deputy director. She was acting in it. Started to do what? To, to dress. You know, even the, the, the language, yeah, okay. Mama Maharasa, she then says, there I tell him, say, chill. 
um, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to deal with, with, with this matter. When you are in position of authority, our país, you are not in an acting position uh, because um, you don't have the capability. It's an instrument of saying, now, now that you are tapping in into the higher responsibility, I am having the key. Now, Lord, open it for me permanently. Because there will always be opposition, but um, we are actor as a deputy director one, two. Dala tina si kona ba marota. I see you say, but um, dala si kona into this company since thirty years. Uh, uh, not only that, the union comes and and oppose it, everything. But God being God, the appointments comes through because one of the things was that she started to dress into a, man, a managerial role. She started to speak in a managerial language. She, tat, she started to walk and those were her words, not me. At that, I started to wear my heels and walk with Mangzula Bez with the same corner. May you walk in authority for in possession of what God has given unto you. Who? He says, rain, please, Bazalone, two minutes in the trail. Pastor Sheila. I was uh, I'm trying just just five minutes only. Pastor Sheila will come then. Now, kune zinto, o zizwa yowe na abanya bantu banga zizwa. Ba ye gengoba abezwa bona, ba mele ubona. By the time you born, when you have long prepared your, your environment, your condition, you are long ready. But God does not only go there, uh, uh, does that. He, the, the, the servant says, I see a cloud. What is the cloud signifying? A cloud signifies progress, that something is coming. May everything that you're expecting, may there be that cloud that Abanyabantu is then starting to show that you are going into the higher height, that from the cloud, everything, now that's where I am closing, whatever you are expecting, may it comes out from that cloud. Whatever you are in expectation of that you have been speaking, you have been telling, you have been running after, may it come out from that cloud. Because Elijah was ready. He says, um, tell the king to run. The king must move because they were using the greatest chariots. Those chariots like I always said previously, they were chariots that um, were for the war. They will be able to move into mountains, into the rivers in the same speed. They will keep and run without any pausing. But Unkulunkulu Masegati Kichima is cut circle for acceleration. He says in in um, First King um, 18 verses 4 46, Zifase, Zifase ngamanda ami, who Psalms, um, Psalms 18 verses 2, eh? Eh, Zifase ngamanda ami, eh? unkulunkulu wenza ni mamfeko, unyangi pingisa, unpingisa ngani ngamanda ake, masika ngpingisile unkulunkulu, bahambi ile bona, one year ago, bang shia, two years progress, three years progress, four years progress, but when is my moment, when is my time, as we stand change? Was some fun at demonstrate. Oh, I'm done. I'm done. I, I, I need us. I need us to, as we stand, he uh, said, Bains in this thing. In China, in China, broad group, go and look for it in Google. Broad Group was able to construct a 10-story apartment building in 28 hours, 45 minutes. One, two. They were able to build a 57-story building in 19 days, the equivalent of three stories a day. What you are preparing, because Utemo so zwile, Uti Imvula Ieza, he started to prepare. What they did, they did the foundation and did uh, those who are in construction, what is those pre-what-what what, um, material. 
they did all of those things. They, yeah, it's, I'm sorry, I should discuss some of this. They, they pre, come on, give me the construction ready. They pre, yeah, the, the precast. The foundation was done. Everything was done. The steels were put. But when, when they put it, those of us who know, is it Lego? Lego, Lego. But the building is standing, is strong. You start acting on it. But Bagbuza, Bekulu Moti, and now Alan in Uguaka, Basebati, so Katil Uguaka Masisha, and so I started to build from the day I had. From the day I heard that rain is coming, I started to plow. That's why God is going to repay you. From the day I heard that rain is coming, I started to ensure that my property is guarded against any strong rain. But ngoba unkulunkulu we crazy. Ati sega kichimile u king ahap na masocha ake and the chariots. I have made this example before. But God says in verses 46, I'm going to give you special power that you may be able to accelerate and pass them but yeah your moment is coming some of the mistake we make we are doing the correct thing that is not anointed by god miss call some of the things that we are doing sensor isn't which are correct but not according to the instruction of god therefore we become ineffective therefore we become unproductive Oh Lord, I see Valen, so it's a delay. Maybe I must have a special service this afternoon, so it's a delay, so that we may be able to know that acceleration. I say this after me: um, No one can stop my acceleration. I can see it. I speak it. I believe it. I possess it. I think we can therefore do better than that. No one can stop my acceleration. Sfiso can see it. Sfiso will speak it. Sfiso believe in it. Sfiso is in possession of it. Please raise your hands. Lord, I ask that you bless each and every child of yours who's here today. As they start a new week, oh Lord, may you fill them, come on worship team, may you fill them with your grace. I pray that, oh God, you'll be able to help them grow in faith as they accelerate in everything that they are trusting you. Lord, I release a blessing that even if when they fall, oh God, your acceleration, oh God, will move them from behind to be in front. I release the blessings upon them, God, that they shall be able to stand in all areas that and um, they are trusting you in. May they grow in their faith, oh God, as they start the Monday, the Tuesday, the Wednesday, the Thursday, the Friday, Saturday, until we meet on Sunday, oh God. May you bless and increase them, oh God. May your love upon them. May your protection be upon them, oh God. In the wonderful name of Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen.